Hi, I'm Leonie from Spines and Splines. I've made a few different folded book videos recently, and in this video I want to show you how you can combine a bunch of those methods to make larger, more complex books with more pages inside. One of the fun things about bookbinding is just sitting down and experimenting with different folds and different sewing methods just to see what will happen. There's no real right or wrong when it comes to making books, and there are a lot of different ways to approach things, and sometimes it's just good to throw a bunch of different techniques together to see what will happen. With this first example, I'm going to show you how to combine the accordion book fold with the pamphlet stitch sewing method. I'll be using one of my tiny concertina books made in my accordion book folding video, so be sure to check that out. The plan for this book is to keep the accordion book feature as the most prominent design aspect and to hide small pamphlet stitch books inside the accordion folds. The pamphlet stitch method that I'm using is the same one that I used in another previous video, so be sure to check that one out if you'd like some more information on sewing three or five hole pamphlet stitch books. The materials that you'll need for all the books that I'm showing you today will be mostly the same for each book. It's good to have a bone folder to make all your folds and an awl to punch your holes, but you can get away with using your hands to fold and any kind of sharp object to use as an awl if you don't have either of those tools. You'll also need some strong sewing thread and a sewing needle, along with the paper that you're using for your books. A ruler, a cutting mat, a pencil, a glue stick and a calculator can also be really useful things to have on hand. With this book, I've torn my pages down to size and I'm sewing them into the accordion book in groups of four. It's exactly the same method as sewing a cover onto a regular pamphlet stitch book, but just imagine that the cover is really long and joined to even more covers. You can choose to sew a signature into every valley fold on both sides of the accordion book, or you can just sew a few in here and there. It can be fun to vary the colour of the thread that you use for each signature. While I'm finishing up sewing this book together, it seems like a good time to remind you that I have a Patreon and you can go and support it. If you get some value out of what I make and can afford to buy me the equivalent of a sheet of art paper each month, that would be amazing. Just like this tiny book, no amount is too small, and every little bit of support helps me make these videos better. To help keep this book a little bit contained, I've folded a small paper cover and I'm sticking one end of the book to the inside of the cover. I could stick both ends of the accordion book to the cover, but I want to be able to access both sides of the book. The next book I'm going to show you is very similar to the last one, but the proportion of each part is the opposite way around. While the last book emphasised the structure of the accordion book, this one focuses on the pamphlet pages. In this one, the concertina folds act as the spine of the book, allowing you to sew in as many of the pamphlet signatures as you want to. Start by making a tall skinny accordion book and some large pamphlet signatures of the same height and then sew each signature into the accordion valley folds. With this one, you'll want to keep all your signatures sewn on the same side of the concertina.
The cover that I've used for this book is a simple paper origami book cover. And I also have another video showing you how to fold this, so make sure to have a look to see how it's done. I love this style of book cover as it's really easy to make and it's super easy to take the book pages out whenever you need to. The front and back pages of the book just slip into each inner cover and are held really well in place. The last variation I have to show you uses my favourite book fold, the snake book, which is a variation on an accordion book that uses a regular sized piece of paper rather than a long strip. This is also called an ox plough book and again I've got another video on my Spines and Splines channel showing you how to make this book. Again, the concept of how to sew the pages into this book is very similar to the last two examples, but the snake book itself is a bit more dynamic and it gives you more options for where to sew the pamphlet signatures in. With this one, you can sew them on the back and the front, but there will also be some little segments throughout the book where you can sew the signatures in at the top or the bottom. This is a super fun style of book to display as it's really sculptural and there are so many interesting ways that you can set it up.
With the snake book, it can be really important to be able to access both sides of the book. So I've made a simple folded paper cover again, and this time to secure it, I've made a paper band that's cut in a way that it holds itself together. If you'd like to learn how to make this type of band, there's a link in the description to another of my videos which will show you exactly how to do it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share it. If you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave me a comment. I've listed all of the materials that I've used in the description and you'll also find links there for my website, my Patreon, my Facebook, my Instagram and some affiliate links to art stores where you can buy materials. Thanks for watching. Cheers.